Are you ready to be great? Stop letting self-doubt, insecurity, and fear prevent you from building your business. This morning, wake up to success. Here's John Preston. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up to Success. Today, I've got a simple question for you. Do you consider yourself a perfectionist? Do you often find yourself saying, yeah, I want it to be just perfect before I move forward? Well, I know I've done that all my life. I've used that as an excuse to procrastinate. I've used that as an excuse for not starting something and not taking action because I wanted it to be just perfect. When in reality, perfectionism is often just a way of prettying up procrastination, of of adding some kind of glorification to putting off doing work. I'm reminded often of something Jen Sinchera said in one of her books. I often reference her. If you haven't read her, you are a badass series, you need to. She has a lot of great wisdom in there. And one of the things she references is perfection is really just procrastination in a fancy dress. We try to add nobility to procrastination because we just don't want to admit we're putting things off. And it sounds so much better to claim we are perfectionists. Now, she goes on to say that perfectionism and procrastination have such a fine line. Well, I want to be good. I want to be perfect. But what you're really doing is not doing the work. You're putting off showing up and being visible because then you're going to be judged and it may suck. I think that's what often happens with many of us. It's not that we desire to be perfect. We're just afraid our version of it is probably not going to be good enough to be successful. And the truth of the matter is just showing up and getting started is always the first step towards getting to where we want to be. It has to start with a little bit of work. Now, I know years ago there was this big push, and I don't remember which book it was, but it was a push uh, towards good enough. And there was a lot of books written about how when you're starting something, you want it to be good enough. Now, I remember at the time thinking, well, that's just a load of crap. You don't want something that's good enough. You want something that's perfect. But later I came to realize that when you're getting started, good enough is what you have to thrive for. Because if you wait for perfection, if you wait for everything to be just right, you're never going to do what you need to do to be successful. It has to start somewhere and it almost always starts far below perfection. And then there's room to improve upon it. You know, Michael Law goes on to follow up on this. At its root, perfectionism isn't really about a deep love of being meticulous. It's about fear. Fear of making a mistake. Fear of disappointing others. Fear of failure. Fear of success. And I know for myself, this is often true. When I procrastinate and claim to be a perfectionist, It's because I am scared to death of what other people will think of when I fail. It's because I fear the failure. And as we've talked about many times, that is a disaster in the making. We will never achieve what we want to achieve if we're afraid to fail. Because failure is part of success. So today I urge you, if you consider yourself to be a perfectionist, stop. Accept that what you're doing only needs to be good enough to move your business a little bit forward. Because once you have momentum, you can then work on improving your processes, improving your systems, improving your product, and improving yourself. Let perfection be the end goal and not where you want to start. Because if you do that, you're never going to get to the end and you're never going to achieve your success. So accept today that you're just going to take action, whether it's perfect or not, because that's where it has to begin for you to get to where you want to be.